Today, we're going to be chatting our second candidate this morning is the Honorable Minister of Sport and Youth Affairs, Shamfa Kuju. And she's also the PNM Electoral Candidate 2020 for the Tobago West constituency. Good morning, Minister. Good morning to you. Thank you for having me this morning. Good morning to the PPP family. And a happy good morning to Trinidad and Tobago. All right. So I want, to, I want you to tell me, how would you describe the past five years being a member of Parliament for Tobago West? The five years have been a very interesting and rewarding uh, time for me. I had the opportunity to serve the people I love and to represent them at the level of the parliament and of the cabinet. I would have served as an opposition senator from 2010 to 2015, which gave me the chance to raise the issues and speak to the issues, the Tobago issues, bring them to, bringing them to the fore. But in the last five years, I think, I had the opportunity to really engage in the business of Tobago people and to deliver on some uh, projects and promises and programs and having the opportunity to influence decisions and to act to deliver pro projects and programs that have been the most rewarding uh, part for me, going out, meeting with the people uh, day to day, uh, having public days and so on. Setting that one on one up close and personal experience with the people of Tobago West has been a very, very exciting one for me, and I look forward to doing so for another five years. Um, Minister Kudra, would you say that you were able to accomplish all that you planned to do? I think um, for the most part, we would have done the best with uh, the resources at hand. Of course, we, we left the country uh, during a very trying economic time, so uh, we would have set out to do a number of things. We would have delivered on uh, promises and some of them are well on their way. For instance, the two fast ferries, which are now on their way, which have been purchased. So we are no longer leasing fast ferries for Tobago. And we, we are dealing with this matter by purchasing two new fast ferries and resolving that into Ireland transport uh, matter as it relates to ferry services. The expansion of the airport which had been on the books for over 30 years many governments had come uh, and, and gone and made promises about that and we have actually made that investment we would have delivered on the southwest wastewater treatment plant uh, which was commissioned earlier this week on monday and the uh, the tilting of the hills brodam uh the hillsborough reservoir to increase or improve water security in tobago so even during the time of uh, trying economic circumstances, we would have delivered and invested in some major projects in a time of a little. Uh, one of my major concerns when I assumed duties as a member of parliament was, was to remain relevant and accessible to the people of Tobago West. I have kept my promise as it relates to that by having weekly public days, roving public days where we take the constituency office into the communities and meet with people at the community centers i kept walking and i think that that really helped in october 2016 i started an initiative where i should walk a little piece of the constituency once per month and visited the, the primary schools and secondary schools once per month i think that would have helped me because we are trying this year to do in five weeks what we would have done in five months in 2015. Yeah. So the fact that I would have kept in touch, helped to deliver uh, social services programs like having national self-help resume, giving grants in Tobago, and lobbying at the level of the cabinet for uh, for Tobago to get to get relief and support. I think that would have helped over the years. So the reception is really good when I go out there on the road, and it's a pleasure to be able to offer myself to the great people of Tobago West once again. The people who raised me, it's a pleasure to be able to give back to them, to serve them and to represent them. Fantastic. Tell me, is it a challenge for you being yeah, a yeah. member of parliament representing Tobago West while still being the Minister of Sport and Youth Affairs or have you been able to integrate the both? Well, at the end of the day for the Tobago representatives, of course, we have a challenge that is different to our, to our Trinidad counterparts where the ministry and the parliament are located in Trinidad and you have to be at cabinet at finance and general purposes committee. You have to attend your joint select committee meetings and run your ministry. 
And in Tobago, we are very uh, personal people. We want to touch and feel and be up close and personal with our constituents. And they want to see us at their events. And they want to be able to come and, and, and meet with us and be accessible. So I do the back and forth, the, a return trip to Tobago at least three times per week oh. in order to be in touch and to remain accessible to the people of Tobago West. Um, I, I think it's a little easier for me because I don't have a family or uh, I don't have children. I don't have a husband. I don't have that type of thing to say I am uh, uh, have to deal with family with it. But Ayanna Webster Roy does a wonderful job at balancing the two. She has three children and a husband and she's doing the back and forth. But it's a labor of love and we do it for the people we love. So um, it's a pleasure to be able to serve in that way. Now, Minister Kujo, in the, in the last election, I remember quite vividly uh, that you stood out as one of, the, um, one of the speakers at most of the rallies because you had this fantastic way of uh, spoke, bringing spoken word and the spoken word energy into your uh, speeches at the rallies. Uh, how important is the youth vote to you in Tobago? The youth vote is critical. The youth uh, form a major part of our population nationally, roughly one third of our, our population. And it's not just the number of young people, it's the significance of young people coming out and having their two cents, having their voices heard, uh, just being able to influence the decisions and influence the processes. Because the decisions that we make today, it affects the young people tomorrow more than anybody else and I think the young people have grown accustomed to some luxuries and, and goods and services that they enjoy now that we when we were growing up didn't have the opportunity to enjoy and it takes a uh, political will it takes some leadership and judgment in order to maintain a proper quality of life for the people of Trinidad and Tobago the opportunities available to young people like keeping education free and have ensuring that they have access to business development grants and loans and agricultural grants and so on. It's important for young people to come out and place their votes for the PNM, of course, to ensure that these uh, goods and services and these programs are still running. For instance, in Tobago, we have the YES program, the World of Work program, OJT, of course, business development, loans and grants. All these benefit young people, and it doesn't happen by just by imagination or by you know, the government just doing it. It has to be about policy, about sound leadership, and taking the decision to do so. When Mia Motley assumed duties as prime minister in Barbados, she had to make some hard decisions. She had to send home, because of the state of her economy, she had to send home public servants, at least 3,000 were fired, and uh, she faced the situation of having to reduce spending on education. In this country, even in the face of trying economic circumstances, we understand the importance of young people and building a brighter future for young people. So we have kept those programs running, ensuring that young people have access to, to, to business development opportunities and opportunities to pursue their tertiary education and, and live a better life. It takes political will. The difference between a dollar for dollar program where you have to come up with half the money and under the UNC and the, and the People's National Movement Program of Gates, where you get free tertiary education, that's a political decision. So I think uh, young people need to mind their business. So whenever we walk in the afternoons and we meet up on young people, we celebrate first time voters because they are excited and they want to just get involved. And the decision is such an important and critical one. You wouldn't let your mother or grandmother choose what clothes you're wearing to work today or choose what, choice, what what car you buy. Th those are important decisions. Well, your future, your children's future, that's an even more important decision. And you have to go out there and do what only you can do for you, which is to place your vote. All right. So tell me, you're speaking about the future. What are your plans for Tobago West? Should I can't you... Hear you. Oh, can you hear me now? No, yes. All right. Uh, we're talking about the future. You mentioned the future quite often there. Tell me, what are your plans for the future for Tobago West? For Tobago West, uh, uh, we, have been, we have been blessed over the years, especially under the leadership of the People's National Movement, to have very sound physical infrastructure in Tobago West. Tobago East is now catching up 
uh, with physical infrastructural development. But in Tobago West, we have had a pretty robust development agenda. Of course, I want to see, um, we want to work on the bigger ticket items to help with our tourism, of course. We want to see the completion of the ANR Robinson Airport. We've made that $1.2 billion investment. Uh, water for all and improving our infrastructure. We continue to work with water to ensure that our communities are properly served. But for me, well, of course, Scarborough Secondary School being uh, built in a new location, uh, the indoor sporting facility. Tobago finally getting its first indoor sporting facility. Uh, we are in arrangement with uh, Uticus to have that construction done during this fiscal year. So I'm pleased about the physical infrastructural development. But for me, the most important thing for Tobago West and Tobago would be your investment in human capital, keeping people employed and giving them opportunities to move up and out of poverty and to build a brighter future for themselves. So to continue to do the training sessions and workshops to equip people with skills and have them certified to give the average young person opportunities to either pursue your tertiary education, to get training and be certified, to start your own business, making uh, these business development grants more, acce more accessible to our young people. And of course, working with young people towards uh, home ownership and so on. So it's all about human capital development, empowering people, helping them to identify that each person have a skill. And you don't necessarily have to depend on the government for work honing their entrepreneurial skills and that is what uh, my focus would be on oftentimes the services are out there the programs the projects but people are not educated as to how to access them and how to use them to the best of their ability for their best interest so my campaign and my focus and my vision is always about educating Tobagonians and empowering them to live their best lives so that we can improve our economy and therefore strengthen our families, our communities, and the entire country. Well, thank you very much for that, uh, Minister Kujo. But before I let you go, you know we have to spin the wheel this morning. <laughs> sure. All right. So, but because you aren't here, I, I assume you're across in Tobago, which is why yes, you aren't I am. here. Yes, I am. I'm in Tobago. Fantastic. Yeah. So I will do the honors. Carrie, you want to join me on, on set and we can maybe spin the wheel for, for Minister Kujo. Now, because you're not here, I, I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't We'll X out the fitness challenge for today. <laughs> yes, please let's X out the fitness challenge. <laughs> Good morning, Minister. I'm ready for cabinet. Good All right. morning. <laughs> so we have, we have three options for you. It'll be pick a side, Kaiso karaoke, or know your place, right? So we're just going to spin whichever one it lands on is the one we're going to have some fun with today, yeah? Okay. All right, mm -hmm. let's go. I didn't spend it too hard. Hopefully it will as, as land on something turns, nice. It looks like it's going to go on fitness. No, oh, man. Just passed. Oops. Oops. Oh. So, Minister, yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm love, I love the, I love the look on your, I love the look on your face there because you realize that it's Kaiso Karaoke. So, as the gentleman I am, Minister, I'm going to afford you the opportunity to choose your own song that you want to sing. All I want is a verse and a chorus. Are you going to play the music in the background to guide me at least? No, it's a cappella, it's a cappella. That way, you can, if you make a mistake, nobody would know. Okay. Um, Tell me what song you're singing first. I want to sing um, Give Me Peter Wait by Black Stalin. I love that. Okay, that's Bond them. I don't know all yeah? words, but I like that one. All right, let me go. Three, four. Judgment morning. I buy the gate and I'm waiting. Ba -da -ba. Because I'm begging the master. Da -da -da. Give me a walk with Peter. Uh, uh, uh. It's something else coming. Da -da -da. With them, I go be dealing. Da -da -da. Because the things that they do me. I want to fix them personally. Peter. Peter away. Peter look settled goat by the gate. Bunny. Bunny. Peter, look the Englishman was sent settled go to Africa land. Bunny. Bunny. Peter, take Drake. Take Rally. But leave Victoria for me. Bunny. Bunny. Peter don't care what you say. But Mussolini, he can't get away. Bunny. Why? Bunny, why? This is my time for bunny. That is my job. <laughs>
<laughs> well done, well done. Thank you very much, Honorable Sam, for coming to the show. Thank you. The and if you're not going to listen to Big West, thank you so much for joining My us. My absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, and thank you, Trinidad and Tobago. All right, take care. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, my fantastic. goodness. Right. Everybody is choosing these it's lovely like great songs. great songs, right? These lovely songs. I absolutely love it. I absolutely I, I, love it.